All right, so these are um, a quick, this is gonna be a quick run through on our, our battery technology. Uh, what we have is M12 and M18. Uh, right now, these are basically kind of like a full range of our M18 packs. You have a low capacity pack, which is a two amp hour battery. You can see red lithium, M18 red lithium, two amp hour battery, all the way to a 5.0, a 9.0 amp hour battery, and the high output XC, and we'll get into that here in a second. And then we also have a 12 amp hour battery. And the reason why we have all these batteries is to help, uh, for, for certain tools, they need more capacity, more power to drive it. So like a chainsaw, the 12 amp hour battery, an impact driver here with the two amp hour battery. You know, the five amp hour batteries are number one selling uh, pack. It's tried and true, all of our impact wrenches use this. Uh, most of our tools run off of the five amp hour battery. Now, because it has the best, it has the best uh, combination of power, size, runtime, etc. So, getting into the technology of our packs, um, what we have here is basically um, our, our patented design that, that we uh, uh, license to other, other companies, but everybody does it a little different, okay? What we have here is a, a design that basically allows us to have the electronics on top to prevent the tool from getting into situations where it might hurt the tool or destroy the tool, as well as the battery. So if there's over temp, the tool will automatically shut off because the battery and the tool electronics are working together to tell you I've hit that certain point and I need to shut off, right? Um, in your instance, we've done a lot of testing. We don't expect that to happen. Um, it's just certain extreme duty cycles. That's where it really protects itself, okay? Now, going into um, some of the, we'll just go into actually some of the packs uh, and the construction. This is actually a NICAD pack. So years ago, this is where it all started with, with Cordless. It all went to NICAD. The issue with NICAD is if you wanted more runtime or more power, you had to keep just adding, adding, and adding more cells to get you what you want. So now you have a massive pack to get, you know, very, uh, limited gains in power and runtime. Okay. With lithium ion, it's very different. You can there's every single lithium ion pack has different tendencies and different traits for how it operates. And how this pack operates next to this one is all different. And that's why we have a full battery lab that tests thousands of cells a month, saying, all right, what is the, how does this pack, um, how does this cell work uh, independently of it, of everybody else? And then also, how does it work when you have all three, three of these combined, okay? Now, you'll see here, you know, the different size and capacities, you see high output here. You know, the next generation in cell technology is your, um, is, is the latest technology, it's 21700 cells, okay? 18650 used to be the, uh, the most common, but now as cell technology continues to progress, um, basically you're able to get, go to a larger pack, but you don't need as many cells. So you, this is where you get a, eight amp hour battery, which is smaller than the nine amp hour battery, but you get more, uh, same runtime, a little more performance uh, in a smaller pack, a lighter pack, right? And so that's that advancement in technology, All right? So every cell is different. Uh, we are the only ones that uh, manufacture our cells. We, uh, manufacturers uh, does all the testing and puts it together in a pack. Everybody else will take it from Samsung and say, all right, these are the recommended packs that I think are good for my tools, and they put it into a battery. We do all the testing uh, internally and design the pack specific to what meets our needs. Okay. Now, beyond the pack, um, or sorry, the cell design also comes into the construction. Okay. And what you'll see here are, if I had the ability to take this off, I would. But there's rubber pieces in here to help stabilize the the batteries. Right. Uh, the cells. And so in a drop occurrence, you don't have battery on battery smashing on each other. It actually is all uh, covered by, by rubber. And they have individual slots to help with that drop occurrence. We know tools are going to get dropped. It's in the construction industry, in, in a shop type environment, that's it's going to happen. So we've protected it to ensure that that allows, uh, so that we plan for that piece, basically. Um, in addition to that, you can see here, the Basically, there's two main entry points for water on a battery. One is right here. So that's basically um, where the pack connects with the tool, right? What we've done is we have weep holes that allow, oh, sorry, uh, like, almost like tunnels, 
that takes the water that would get in here, if it, if at all, and just flows it to the bottom of the pack, which we'll get into a second and where that goes, okay? Yeah. The other instance of where uh, it happens is when you, uh, when you push on, on these guys, all right? So that really only happens when you push in, that's when water could get in. Now you're not doing this every single day, so really the only main occurrence is here, and we have the best design to help basically mitigate water stain in, in the pack. That's okay. only when the tool is not on it. Um, correct. Now, I mean, that's when it most likely happens. It can happen when it's on a tool, but very rare. Because it's almost sealed. Correct. Yep. Now, when you look at our, our technology within the, the pack itself, the housing, all right, we have weep holes. Maybe it's better. Every single slot here is a weep hole that allows water to just basically disperse uh, when water gets in there, right? And every other manufacturer does not have this. And, and it's part of our patented design that allows us to, to, to go with this. But that's why water mitigation is, is uh, very critical and top of mind for us. And we have these, basically the technology built into the frame of the pack to make sure that's, that's eliminated. Um, the other big piece here is we have rubber overmold on the bottom of the battery. And if you look at every other manufacturer, everybody is just straight plastic. We do this for two reasons. One, it's a lot harder to move when it's actually on, but also helps it drop. Okay, so when you're, uh, the rubber acts as, you know, obviously a, uh, it condenses when it drops. Now, will it always just, uh, will it protect the drop in every single scenario? No, but it will last a lot longer in a drop scenario than a competitive pack because of this rubber over. So it's another barrier, more cost to do it this way, but it protects it from the environments that we know these tools and these packs are gonna be put in. Okay. Um, so that's high level what we have from a uh, from a, a technology perspective with the cells, the the construction, and then the electronics. Again, like I talked about earlier, full communication from the cell. Uh, sorry, from the from the battery pack to the tool, so that if you ever get in that um, situation where the pack needs to shut down or the tool needs to shut down, they're communicating constantly with each other uh, to make sure that uh, it protects itself from that type of event. So, awesome. Eric, what are you uh, showing, reviewing at this particular show? Nothing uh, new uh, than what we had at um, like ISN or our media event. We were thinking about a couple of things, but we just yeah, didn't. Uh, you know, so this is stuff you've been working on. You've kind of shown it already. Yep. Uh, but nothing is being debuted at this particular. Correct. Because they have a lot of black curtain stuff that's sure. usually done at this particular location. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. We. 